video, so I decided to cook some smother pork chops today. Matter of fact, I just decided to pull my camera out. <laughs> you know, so, but what it is, man, is a uh, smother pork chop with yellow rice. It's already done over there. But uh, I'm gonna try to run down real quick and catch up what I did. So I seasoned my pork chops with um, basically whatever you want to season it with. But I have ginger, complete season, lyra seasoning salt, black pepper, and garlic powder. And I put flour on them, coated them with flour, and I fried them on both sides for like three to four minutes. Just want to, you know, get them a little crunch right there. So there's like three of them. And I got three more going right here. They've been cooking for maybe, yeah, like right at, right at three minutes. Flip them over. on both sides. I put just enough cooking oil to cover the bottom of the pan. So you don't really need that much cooking oil at all. And you are not trying to cook these all the way through. You just want to get a little crunch on both sides. Alright? We'll be back. So while that's frying, I chopped up my green onions my white onions, my red onions. I got my green bell peppers, my yellow bell peppers, my orange bell peppers. But um, the orange and the yellow, I mean, that's totaled up to you. I just like a lot of vegetables, a lot of taste in mind. And what we're gonna do, once we take the pork chops out, we're gonna put these in there and saute them for about three minutes. I'm also gonna put some thyme inside. So I got the thyme. But the time is gonna be out. Right here is my chicken broth. What I did, what it is, I had uh, my chicken bouillon. You know, one of those cubes. Uh, one of these, you know, the cubes that come inside. And that's two cups of water. And I also got some browning just to give it some color, which is that right there. I know I'm, I'm playing catch up with y'all, so hopefully y'all hope. Don't complain too much about this video. And I put like a top full of this in here. I boiled it. So that's a chicken broth and some brown in there. All right. So my pork chop, so pretty much done frying. So I'm going to take those out. Put over the pan is it all. Um, Killing the sound of the video. So that's six pieces of pork chop. So now I'm gonna dump my vegetables in a saute. Right? All right. So I got my vegetables in here sauteing right now. I wish I could smell this, man. Things like that. Got my red onions, my green onions or scallions, my white onions, my yellow bell peppers, my red bell peppers, my green bell peppers, and uh, yeah, saute them for like three minutes, set them aside, get a plate set down the side, and we'll put our pork chop back in. And we're gonna go from there, alright? So I took all my vegetables out, saw them to the side. I put a little bit more flour, um, like a cup that big. I mean, not a cup, like a spoon that big. Just put a little bit more flour in there to thicken it up. So now I'm gonna just place my pork chop back in. And we're gonna have to layer this because there's a lot of pork chop and it's pretty big. So. Only thing I'm missing is some garlic. Should have had some garlic before that comes up. But other than that, this thing gonna be good, boy. <laughs> yeah, no. Alright, so 
I got my pork chop layered off. I turned my stove down because we're going to gonna let this simmer. So my stove is down. And now, put our vegetables on top. Spread them out. Try to do this in one hand, y'all. So that way. Try to get those spread up. So now, I'm gonna pour our chicken broth and our browning on top. I'm gonna add a little bit more water to it just so it can almost cover the top bit more water like I said we're gonna let this cook for a long time this may cook like an hour and um you just want it to simmer you can put it on like two and let it simmer one other thing that I'm adding which is up to you I just like the taste of it is um pimento seeds all spice balls I got maybe five, six of them, just sprinkle those in there. And I'm gonna cover this with foil and I'm gonna let it cook for like 30 minutes then I'm gonna come back and check on it. But uh, right now it smells like heaven off of here. Ooh, you know that can smell it. <laughs> yeah, I'm covered it with foil, just wanted to show y'all. And I got a lid that does not fit this pot, but at least it'll hold that foil now and keep the heat inside. So I'm just gonna set that on top and we're gonna let it do its thing for like 30 minutes. Then we're gonna come back and check. All right, so after after about an hour and 15 minutes, this is the finished product. I put a little bit more season in there for me. Cause uh, just for me, it need a little bit more. So I just put a little black pepper in. Um, more ginger. I like the taste of ginger and a little bit more salt and but that side came out. So we gonna put this on a plate and that's it. Alright, okay, so there you have it. The final product of my smothered pork chop with yellow rice. His and hers. You can tell which one is his and which one is hers. <laughs> I don't eat broccoli, so that's all for her, so. But yeah, that look good, man. Sprinkle me a little red pepper flakes on top. And that's what you get. Got a gravy on top. All right, man. Till next time.